Good morning, world. So I just wanted to come on here quick and share a uh, little life lesson. I seem to learn those often. But um, yesterday morning we awoke to the chickens yelling and it wasn't the normal yelling noise. And so I rush outside in my robe with a grab a stick because, you know, it's what I do. And there was a fox chasing after one of our chickens, chasing them all around the yard. And I ran after him and, you know, he went running off into the woods. All was fine. Nobody was taken. Um, but it's like a, it's a rushed way to start the day a little panicked. And I was concerned that by me letting the chickens out and roam the yard the past couple weeks that I had um, in some way caused this to happen, right? Like, oh, the chickens were left out or the fox knew they were here, so he was coming. Um, and in actuality, the chickens are living their best life when they're able to roam and uh, eat all the different bugs and all the pick through all the leaves. And, and as a reminder, because I tell myself these lessons, but uh, the universe likes to show it, show up, and show it in the physical form. So uh, this morning I was collecting eggs. I'm gonna turn this around real quick. This morning I was collecting eggs. We have another chicken laying an egg, and I know you can see it in here. We get all these different eggs, you know, some dirty, most of them really clean, and then right on top of the pile was this teeny tiny little fairy egg. If you can see, they're called fairy eggs. That's about the normal size of an egg. Ooh. And it's teeny tiny. Now this is just something that happens because, um, Penelope's going to investigate. This is just something that happens because there's two eggs. Um, so what I've noticed is new layers, particularly, they lay a lot more in the beginning. And so this is probably from one of our new egg layers that they, when you develop the egg, it starts developing. There's a long chain of yolks inside the chicken. And then the shell encases around the egg in the last 12, 24 hours before it lays. So this was probably an egg that was behind one that it laid and it just kind of like popped out a little soon because its body was so, as you can hear behind us, raring to go and do what nature calls for them to do. The beauty of, uh, we go by the cycles of nature here, we don't use artificial light and in doing so one of those things that we do notice is we have no eggs in December and January and into February. But as we start moving into March, and when there's, towards the equinox, when there's equal light and equal day, they start laying eggs in abundance, and so we get to share it with our community and be reminded of the magic that is this planet and these animals. And so I share it with you so that you may be reminded of the magic as well. I hope everyone has a beautiful day. We're going to get some much needed rain and tomorrow should be the last day of cold before spring and planting. That's what I'm really excited about. But for now I'm present in this beautiful moment and I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day.